What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? Saturday, May 17th, 2025. All right, guys, it's been a crazy 24 hours, and we've seen some crazy lights in the night skies, tornadoes, dust storms, farmlands destroyed by fires, heat waves, solar activity, and so much more. Storms on Friday produced more than 600 severe weather reports, including 26 tornadoes across five states, with a reported 52 tornadoes over the last 48 hours. A deadly tornado outbreak leaves at least 21 dead across Kentucky and Missouri, destroying more than 5,000 homes, buildings, and businesses. Significant damage has also been reported in Sullivan, Indiana, Marion, Illinois, and Washington, D.C. A rare dust storm hit Chicago and the surrounding regions on Friday, May 16, 2025. Strong winds up to 60 miles an hour stirred up dust from dry farmlands creating apocalyptic skies. I've explained in previous videos how ionospheric heaters alter jet streams. We also know solar radiation management can alter and increase wind patterns. Stratospheric aerosols, chemtrails, also create wind-changing pressure gradients. This can even induce earthquake activity. And we also see high-frequency beams coming from Nexrad ionizing the atmosphere using electromagnetic radiation for weather modification. A surprise solar storm? Really? We're going to go with that again? The coronal hole stream isn't even here yet, calling this event a leading but separate component from the sun. I don't think so. But every time we see these events in the atmosphere, we can find facilities like HARP, SuperDarn, IceCat, CERN, and the South Pole Station conducting experiments in the sky. Often we're told that SpaceX rockets are responsible for much of the phenomena that we see in the sky. Did you know rockets and HARP work alongside of each other? Sometimes these rockets will release chemicals high in the atmosphere and then they can be manipulated by an ionospheric heater to create the desired effect. And other times these rockets are used to punch holes in the ionosphere and manipulate the magnetosphere. Have you heard about Steve? Steve is a strong thermal emission velocity enhancement and that term was coined by citizen scientists. So when I hear scientists talk about Steve, well I think about ionospheric heaters. A strong thermal emission? That's an ionospheric heater. The enhancement? Yeah. That's from an ionospheric heater. Last year at this time, we saw the auroras at low latitudes in many countries. At this time, we saw testing from HARP and CERN. These artificial aurora can generate a bullseye pattern in the atmosphere. During the May outbreak of artificially generated northern lights, I was sent a photo of the bullseye pattern generated in the aurora. And we can see the same pattern being generated from Nexrad at the heart of every major storm. Next generation radar? Nexrad is the heart of weather modification. So I contend that the technological advancements made at the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, otherwise known as HARP, have been reduced to the size of a Nexrad tower. Climate scientists and researchers will blame the sun, but we know these atmospheric tests can lead to increased solar activity, and I've shown that in previous videos. All of the links will be in the YouTube description box. Let's take a look at a few Skywatcher photos. Chris Elkhorn from Kentucky sends this image of what I would say is RF heating of the stratospheric aerosols. Megan Simmons from Ava, Missouri shows us this hail that damaged her home and property. She states that there was no warning until after the storm had passed. And Arlene Warren shared this video from Joplin, Missouri. Thanks for sharing your photos and videos. All right, guys, I know times are hard and I really appreciate the support you give to the channel. I really couldn't keep doing this without your continued support. A huge shout out to Tef Dog's mom and the Facebook subscribers for helping to support the work. Much love and many thanks. 
go check out my website, alaskaskywatcher.com. You'll find links to the radars that I use and some great products. Okay, Skywatchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.